Beloved, this is another day the Almighty Jehovah has given to us. Beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You have given us a breath. So this is another day. We want to thank you for what you have done. May your name be praised and exalted. Unto thee, O Lord, you alone is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for another day that you have given us a message that we are about to hear the good message that we are thirsty for. May the word come forth. Unto thee, O Lord, all things are settled in heaven. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beloved, I take this opportunity to greet the viewers of Prophet Kenewu, to hear the message that God has given to us. May God help us all to hear his message. Amen. In Jesus' name. Beloved, God has given us a message, and the title of the message is The Mind of Christ. And without wasting time, it, let us go into the Bible, Philippians 2, and the verse is 5. Let's hear the word of God. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Beloved, the mind of Christ, which was in Christ, be in you and I, that consists of a behavior of a good an excellent character, excellent character. The mind of our savior be in us, tell us how to trust and obey and also the fellowship of the Holy Spirit that will lead you and I in everything the help of the Holy Spirit is to direct you and I and to teach us the word of God and also with understanding. The mind of our Lord Jesus Christ is his holiness, his righteousness, his humbleness, the patient, his compassion, and forgiveness of sin, the goodness, and the redeemer that saved us, and also the salvation for our soul. All this is mentioned we need to acquire, and this will let us have the mind of Christ can be ours. Hallelujah. The mind of Christ should be 100%, and that is in intimacy with our Lord and to follow him on daily basis so that the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our comforter, our guide, and a friend will teach us he is the greatest teacher. Let us see or read another scripture, which is Lamentation 3, and the verse is 21 to 25. Let's hear what Lamentation 3 is telling us. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God the one who knows you and I, hallelujah. We give all the glory unto him. I want to sing a song. 
to glorify my maker, the one who created you and I. His name is wonderful. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. He is wonderful. My Savior is so wonderful. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. He is wonderful. My Savior is so wonderful. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. He is wonderful. My Savior is so wonderful. Let us hear the word or the scripture of Lamentation 3, starting from 21 up to 25. Let's hear the word. 21 says, this I call to my mind. Therefore, I have a hope. Though the Lord's mercy were I, not consume because his compassion fail not. 23, they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. 24, the Lord is my portion, say my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. 25, the Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seek him. Hallelujah. Beloved, the Lord is good. The Lord is merciful. The Lord, his mercy endure forever. This is our God, the most high God. He alone is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Look at the qualities over here. Our God has compassion for you and I. Do we have compassion for one another? Do we do good unto others? Do we give to genuine men of God to help the work of God? Oh, beloved. We need all this quality as the, as the mind of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is our portion. If it's not him, we cannot make it. Holy Spirit, we need him to direct our path in our daily basis. Without the Holy Spirit, you and I, we cannot make it. And we will be consumed by the enemy because he is seeking to kill us. That's why the Bible let us know in John 10, 10. He is a thief. He come to steal, to destroy, and to kill. Only our Lord Jesus Christ, the mighty in all things, is good for you and I. That's why he said, so that I will give you whatever you ask in my name in John 14, 14, whatever we ask. It is him alone that protects our soul. So beloved, we have to yield to our Lord Jesus Christ and do whatever he wants us to do. Hallelujah. The verse we read is telling us to wait upon him so that our soul will seek him. You and I, 
We need to seek our God in daily basis. And the more we draw closer to him, we will know him. Our Lord knows you and I, but do we know him? Do we fellowship? Do we serve him? Do we worship him in our daily basis? We don't have time to spend a good quality with our Lord, to praise him, to read the word of God. We don't have time. But beloved, he is coming. And that day, you cannot say, I didn't hear your word. You were doing your own thing. And I was doing my own thing. But it will be too late. Beloved, this is the time to seek him, to draw closer and closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. So that on that day, we can lift up our head to meet our maker. Hallelujah. I have a question. Do we humble ourselves? Are we patient? Are we obedient for our master, our Lord Jesus Christ, as he was? Patient, obedient to his father. So you and I, are we patient? Are we obedient to do the will of God, to do the work? with our whole heart, our mind, our soul, and our, our strength. We don't. So beloved, we have to change our mind so that the mind of our Lord Jesus Christ will be our portion, doing the right thing for our Lord. Beloved, we have to transform our life by him only, through the Holy Spirit. Transformation is something that you and I need. Mind changing is something like you and I need and to do the right thing and to run away from sin, sin, sin. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe, he hates sin. So this afternoon, in America, it might be even in Europe, we have a tax to change our mindset. May the Holy Spirit have mercy upon us, help us our path, wherever, whatever we are doing, may we yield to him 100%. Oh, merciful God, have mercy. Because what is ahead of us is so dangerous. And that day, I don't know where our, my soul, or I don't know yours, but I, I am saying that day, I don't know where my soul will be. It is time to repent from our wicked ways. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your good message. Mighty Jehovah, have mercy upon us. Deliver us from all affliction that we have committed or all sin that we eat like a food. May the Lord have mercy upon us. Lord, we thank you, Spirit of God, for giving us a message like this. It is you alone that can teach us so that our soul will run away from filthy things. We thank you. We magnify, we glorify for a moment like this. In your mighty name, let your will shall be done. In Jesus Christ, only you alone have the power to redeem us from every affliction. Thank you. I take this opportunity that God Almighty, your servant that you have ordained for this end time, you will protect him and help him and bless him 
whatever he wants to do for you, may you lift him higher and higher to win more and more and more so for your kingdom and also his viewers that listen to him daily. May you protect them and guide them and also the family of prophets. May you cover them and protect them. God help each and every one so that Lord, we can make it to your kingdom. Oh Jehovah, we thank you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. May your will shall be done. Amen.